Donald Trump gave himself a lot of credit over the course of this primary for self-funding his campaign. He would repeatedly say, I'm not accepting donations, I am funding this campaign. He gave himself that credit, he didn't earn that credit since he was not self-funding his campaign. More than one-third of his funding came from individual donations, which I much prefer to gigantic donations from rich individuals or super PAC spending, but it still existed, making him a liar. But anyway, if you think he deserved even a little bit of credit for that, he's going to lose it in the general election because he has announced that he is going to be putting together a fundraising machine of the traditional sort. Uh, he says, I'll be putting up money, but it won't be completely self-funding as I did during the primary. So he's still saying that he's self-funded during the primaries, which is not true. He was given millions of dollars. And to be given millions of dollars by regular Republicans and then to pretend that they didn't give you that money seems a bit messed up to me. Well, if but you he's go, continuing to do it. If you just very quickly, you know, go back to his uh, father giving him a million dollars, uh, which he referred to as uh, a little loan. A little loan. A little loan. And so, it wasn't a million dollars. It was more than that. But he says a million. Um, so Donald Trump getting a million, getting millions of dollars from people, not he significant. Care. Not significant yeah. to him. He doesn't care. So don't waste your money donating to him because he's not going to acknowledge it. Uh, and he said, looking ahead to the general election, that his plan is to make his campaign into a world-class finance organization to make sure he has the resources to fight Clinton, even if it means embracing the special interests he has so often decried on the campaign trail. We're going to discuss all this in just a minute. First, we have him uh, on video talking a little bit about his plan. Uh, pay attention to exactly what he says because I'm going to break down what a moron he is when we come back from this video. Uh, as far as the campaign, I'm making decisions right now, but probably will work with the Republican National Committee, raise a lot of money, and go out and beat Hillary. We're going to try and raise over a billion dollars, which is what's going to be necessary. I hear the Democrats maybe will get as high as $2 billion, but we want to raise up to a billion dollars, maybe even over that. I'm not even sure that's necessary because I have a big voice. I go on shows like yours. I explain the truth, and people seem to go along with it. Okay, so we're going to break down the consequences of this, but first I love uh, his first sentence. He only said three sentences there. We'll try to raise over one billion, which is what's going to be necessary. Then another sentence, then we're going to raise up to one billion, maybe even over that. I'm not even sure that's necessary. He literally just said that's what's necessary. So he's not internally consistent. We understand that. I am glad that he's going to do this for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it's that it, it shows that he's not a complete fool because he was going to be massively outspent if he didn't do this or if he didn't pledge a billion of his own dollars, right. which apparently he's not willing to do. There's no way if I were him, it. I would simply do it. Sell a bunch of your crappy little companies and spend the money on yourself. Be able to actually honestly say that you're, you're doing this all on your own. I mean, your entire empire is based off of money you were given as a young man, but at least in, now it would be your own money. Look, he was a, he's a rich guy who was uh, inherited money and was given a lot of a million dollar loan even if it's just a million you know I mean I, I could do a lot with a million dollar loan from my dad <laughs> you know <laughs> but and, and let alone the inheritance that he later got of gigantic sum of money right. so that. but, but that said he he obviously knows branding and built a brand I mean he didn't mm -hmm. do it wasn't entirely because of the money he was given that's all okay that's fine that's fair uh, but also importantly we've been talking uh, for something like six months now wondering who would be Depending on if it's Bernie or if it's Hillary, who would be the most difficult candidate to go against? Who would be the easiest candidate to go against? And we've talked often, just a few minutes ago, about the wild card nature of Donald Trump and also about how he has a special position or had a special position where he could attack someone like a Hillary Clinton by saying, you are bought. I even participated in buying you. You're still taking money from these gigantic special interests. They're donating millions of dollars to these super PACs. Uh, these billionaires are buying you. You're bought. I'm not. But now he's going to be taking money from Republican billionaires. That's the world-class financial organization that has fueled Republican presidencies uh, for the past 30 years at the very least. He's going to be coordinating with super PACs. I have no doubt that he will continue to make those same claims that he was going to make anyway, but now they're 100% false, whereas before there would have been an amount of authenticity to it. Yeah, you know, whatever. He's going to be bought. Whenever, the same as her. whenever rich people run and fund their own campaigns in state races, uh, the argument that "Hey, man, I can't be bought" works pretty well, yeah. right? You know, I'm uh, I'm not like everybody else. You don't have to you don't have to worry about me raising money from special interests. But put up that clip again, that the quote again that we had. You know, uh, uh, make sure we have the money resources to fight Clinton, even if it means embracing the special interests he has often so often decried on the campaign trail. You know, well that immediately undercuts 
his authenticity. So I agree that that's uh, uh, that one of the arguments that uh, Bernie supporters make, and I think it was a fairly valid argument, is that is that Trump will be would have been able and will still be able, because as you say, he'll still try to take on some of the Bernie Sanders language, mm -hmm. tone about outsider, don't trust the system, against the system, we got to stick up for the regular people. Um, and against Hillary, look, whoever makes that argument, it, that lands to some extent, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and Trump, uh, Bernie against Trump, Trump could not have done it yeah. because he's out, he's outdone unquestionably by Bernie on that. So He's even because, said that about Bernie in the past. That's right. So it, it's totally muted. Here it isn't. Um, and once again, we get that same argument against Hillary. And, and he still, as you say, will, but it is unquestionably muted by his, yeah. by his. And the reason partially he's doing it, I mean, and I hope there are stories on this, hope there's meaningful investigations on it. I'm sure if it's occurring to me, it's occurring to reporters. It's hard to do though, but how much money does he really have? Like, does he, there's, uh, you know. He I, says up to $10 billion. No way, no he's way. So then we saw. valued his personal brand, not like the show, a building, just the idea of him, he has valued at two and a half billion dollars. Yeah, we saw we saw numbers three to four. Uh, yeah. uh, but I, there's no way he has that anything like that liquid. And I'm not knocking if he only has two. Like, okay, that's pretty great. <laughs> I'll you take know. it. Sure, uh, but I'm dubious uh, because I mean, if he's serious about winning, spending a billion of his own dollars and instantly taking up that cudgel against Hillary that she is part of an establishment who can't be trusted and I am going to stick up for the little guy uh, uh, and regular Americans. Now, you know, of course, many Republicans don't want you to stick up for the little guy. Um, <laughs> uh, so there's a, a risk there, but but not as much. I, I, I think it's a mistake to uh, not to, to, to cede that argument, which yeah. has been powerfully effective for Bernie. And there are some Bernie Sanders supporters, I don't think many, but some, who would hear that in yeah. Donald Trump and given their distaste for Hillary Clinton, some number would go to Trump. But, and he's but he, now lost that. But he, he is, I think, he, he risks losing it. We don't really know. Yeah, we'll see. We, we previously told you that the Koch brothers say that they're not sure exactly what their spending is going to look like. But look, if, if they come around and he gets money from the Kochs and he gets money from Sheldon Adelson and he gets money from Wall Street and the oil companies and the phar pharmaceutical companies, that's how you do this world-class finance organization that we hate so much here at the Young Turks. Once he has all of that, we just have to hope that the reporters are willing to call him on it.